Hello and welcome to Digital Oceans Community Casts. I'm Erica Heidi, a technical writer from the Developer Education team. Today we'll follow the initial server setup guide for Ubuntu 18.04. To get started, I will create a fresh new server. So let's go create a new droplet from the control panel. I'm going to use a Ubuntu 18.04 server. Then I'm going to choose a 4 GB server. But this will really depend on your needs. I'm going to choose Amsterdam region because that's closer to where I am. And I'm going to choose my custom key. So this public key will be added to the authorized host for the root user when the server is created. So I'm going to just name this Ubuntu 18.04. You can use some tags here if you want to easily identify or group these servers. So let's say tutorials. And I'm going to create this server now. So it's going to take a few moments before the network is ready and you can log into the server. We will be following the initial server setup with Ubuntu 18.04. So the first step is to log in as root. So we are going to get the IP address from our droplet and we're going to log in via SSH. Let's change to the terminal. So now you're logged in as the root user. So the first thing uh, we need to do after logging in is creating a new user because the root user is the administrative user in a Linux environment and it has really a lot of privileges so you, you don't want to be using root uh, in a daily basis we should create a new regular user and grant administrative privileges to this user. So the new user will be able to run privileged commands using sudo. So let's go ahead and create a new user. We're going to use add user, the add user command, and I'm going to add a user named Sammy. So it asks for a password, and then you can repeat the password, and you can leave this blank. Okay, so the new user is created. Now we need to add administrative privileges to this user. Let's check back the, term, the browser, the tutorial. So to grant administrative privileges to the new user, you just need to add this user to the sudo group. So we're going to do that just now. The user mod command can modify some user settings. So we're going to set up this user uh, semi To the pseudo group. Okay. Now our user should have the ability to run pseudo commands. The next thing we should do is to set up a basic firewall. You can use UFW for that because uh, Ubuntu 18.04 servers they come with the UFW firewall, so you just need to enable it. 
So we're gonna allow OpenSSH so we can log in via SSH and then everything else is gonna be closed. It's gonna block everything else except from SSH, which is exactly what we need. So let's go to the terminal again. Let's uh, enable the firewall. You can check, you can use UFW status to check if it's active or not. So currently it's inactive. So before I'm enabling it, I'm going to open the allowing the, I'm going to allow the SSH And now you can enable UFW. Yes. So now you can run UFW status again, and then it's showing that uh, the firewall is active and it's uh, only allowing SSH connections. So, so far we created a new user and we enabled sudo access and we also enable UFW firewall. We still need to set up external access to your regular user. So there are different ways to do that. Um, the only important thing is that password authentication is not recommended. It's always best and safer to use key pair authentication. That's what we used before to connect as the root user. So our public key is actually already on the server. And we can just copy the authorized keys from the root user to the new regular user. So that way we will be able to log in as the new regular user using the same public key, using the same key pair to connect to the server, the same that we used before to connect as root. This key should be on your control panel, for instance, if you are using DigitalOcean. So there are different ways to, to do that. Uh, this is one way that uh, makes everything one command, copies and sets permission. But I'm going to do it in a simpler way so you can understand what is happening. Let's change to the terminal window. The first thing we need to do is to create a directory inside the new regular user because it's new, so it doesn't have a SSH directory yet. So we're going to create this directory and then we're going to copy our current key our current authorized keys actually, where it should have the public key. Um, so you're gonna copy that to the semi user. Now the only thing left to do is to change permissions because uh, currently it's on a, this file is owned by root, so you wouldn't be able to log in anyways. Um, you need to change this so the file uh, is owned by Sammy. I'm gonna use Shawn for that. Okay, so now if you run this command again, it should see that uh, now the permissions are right. So we can try to log in again as now as semi. So I'm log I logged out from the server and now I'm gonna log in again, but this time I'm gonna log in as semi. And we are in. So now you have a regular user where you can run pseudo commands.
then when you run a sudo command it's going to ask you for your user password the sudo password is the same password that you define it for this user when creating the user and then you can run all the commands that a root user would run so this is much safer to use on a daily basis okay so where to go from here at this point you have a solid foundation for your server you can install any of the software you need on your server now this is a prerequisite for many of our tutorials so you probably doing this um, as a prerequisite for something else so that's it your server is now ready to be used for anything you want i hope you enjoyed this guide check the video description for the link to the full text version of this tutorial and if you have any questions you can connect with us via the digital ocean community website see you next time